Well, there shouldn't be a uh, perception or an expectation that the church's uh, doctrines or position uh, have changed or are changing. It's simply not true, and we want youth and all people to understand that. The, uh, the doctrines that relate to human sexuality and uh, gender are, are really uh, central to our theology. And marriage between a man and a woman and the families that come from those marriages, uh, that's all central to God's plan and to his, the opportunities that he offers to us here and hereafter. And so homosexual behavior um, is contrary to those doctrines, has been, uh, always will be, and can never be anything but uh, transgression. It's uh, something that deprives people of those highest expectations and possibilities that God has for us. That being said, it's important to remember a few things that people don't always understand or remember, and that is that homosexual behavior is not the unforgivable sin. The atonement and repentance can bring full forgiveness there and peace. Uh, and secondly, I'd say, um, though we don't know everything, we know enough to be able to say that same-sex attraction in and of itself is not sin. The feeling, the desire is not classified as the same as homosexual behavior itself. And the third point I would mention is that uh, when people have those desires and same-sex attractions, our attitude is, is stay with us. Uh, I think that's what God is saying, stay with me. And that's what we want to say in the church, stay with us. Let's work together on this and find friendship and, and uh, commonality and uh, brotherhood and sisterhood here more than anywhere. It's important that there be love and that there be hope. Um, love is not to say acceptance or endorsement, but it is to say inclusion and not uh, ostracism.